I'm going to show you how to fix warped rotors or essentially brake pad deposits on your F80 M3. Um, so basically I was driving and if I would stomp on the brakes real hard after like some aggressive driving, it would give me a crazy shudder, crazy vibration and a crazy noise and it's super embarrassing. So I assumed I had to pay $300 for new rotors. I was literally about to order them and I just happened to stumble upon a forum post that they were confident that it was just pad deposits. And so I found instructions online. I'll leave a link below. Shout out to breakshop.com. If you prefer a non-video version, you can literally just look at the instructions on the website. But essentially what is causing the rotors to shimmy or feel uneven is the pads are getting too hot and it's leaving too much material on the rotor itself, which is typically from like aggressive track driving or just driving aggressively on the street. It seems like these pads, um, Funnily enough, just aren't really made for aggressive driving. It's free, all you need is your foot and some time. All right, so I do realize that this may seem like some snake oil, but I promise this is legit. I thought the same thing. Uh, one thing, so basically to tell the difference between actual warped rotors and pad deposits is more so that it's gonna not be every single time you hit the brakes. Like if you hit the brakes and every single time you do it for the past three weeks, whatever, you're on the highway at 55 miles an hour, and you hit the brakes and it shudders, it's probably actually warped rotors. But if it's more intermittent and only happens at certain times of the day, and it's just more random overall, it's more than likely pad deposits. Let's find some open road. We're gonna be braking really hard, so you don't wanna be near other cars. You don't wanna freak anybody out. Now, all we're gonna do is just go ahead and get our car up to 60. We're gonna brake about as hard as we can without locking up the wheels because we don't want to flat spot our tires, but as hard as you can up to that point to 30 miles an hour. So from 60 to 30, we're gonna do that three times. And then we're gonna let the cool the brakes cool for three minutes. Also, you wanna make sure you do this while the car the brakes are cold. So either after you haven't been driving for a while or at least just like braking lightly for like five minutes or so. So we're gonna repeat that three times consecutively and then take like a three minute break and then repeat that like 10 times. So if you like, if you work out or whatever, it's like three reps, 10 sets, if that makes sense. repeat that 10 times so obviously this will be a little bit time consuming because you want to wait at least three minutes in between each set so that's at least 30 minutes probably more than that and this is kind of a temporary fix because it seems like it's just something with the OEM rotors and brake pads that causes this to happen if you're driving your car aggressively so my plan for a permanent solution hopefully because I haven't tested it yet but it's just getting more aggressive pads that are made for my style of driving and that will hopefully hold up to more heat better without putting too much um, pad material onto the rotors but yeah if that helped you drop a like uh thanks for watching catch you guys next time